Metaphorically Speaking and Leading with Molly Neese. Today's metaphor is called Mind Like Moon, Mind Like Water. I'm Molly Neese. I'm here to tell you a little bit of a story about how it came to be and why you might be interested in learning a little bit more. The inspiration for Mind Like Moon, Mind Like Water comes from a martial arts principle. And ironically, my son just started Taekwondo and Master Juan introduced the Mind Like Moon, Mind Like Water principle last week in regards to being aware and responding appropriately to situations. So if an eight-year-old can get it, we can certainly do it, right? So let's get started. As I mentioned, mind like moon and mind like water, it's a basic principle really found in all forms and styles of martial arts, but is easily transferable into everyday life. Perhaps you're trying to figure out what it's like to have a mind like a moon or even why should you care? Well, let me help you. If you picture a full moon on a dark night, you know that the moonlight shines equally on everything within its range. You know, if your mind shines equally on everything within its range, it will be open and aware of all things. So in the art of self-defense, it's important that you are constantly aware of your opponent's movements. With an open mind, you can be immediately aware of an attack and you can react without thinking to get out of the way of someone who's trying to harm you. Well, the distraction really can be clouds that are blocking the light of the moon. They interfere with the correct and accurate response needed to defend oneself. Is it starting to become clear? Yes, it is more than self-defense. But mind like moon is much more than a way to avoid an opponent's attack. It means that you must see and understand violence. Y you know, what does it mean? What could violence mean in your everyday work? It might be raising your voice. It might be being short with someone. Whatever you, you want to call whatever that violence or, or challenging situation you're in right now. You must have an open mind to why why one would want to do you harm and you must understand you know what causes this violence or intrusion or challenge that you're being faced with you would have to think about the hurt the fear the anger that you feel when you are being attacked you would need to know the reasons why you yourself would want to hurt someone and you must ex attempt to understand why you feel hurt once you begin to see why you feel hurt, you will begin to really understand why someone else gets hurt and why the person might want to hurt back. Then you will begin to see what hurt is and how it causes that violence. So with that said, it's important to really seek to understand. By seeing the problem, you can respond with a true understanding so that you are not merely defending yourself against being attacked physically. And in, in the workplace, it might be, you might be feeling attacked emotionally or whatever is your case. Understanding all of this, you can respond with intelligence and choose a more non-violent, creative way to really handle your problem. So now that you have an idea of what to have a mind like moon is, perhaps you can guess what it means to have a mind like water. Now in the self-defense aspect of karate, mind like water is a calm mind like the surface of undisturbed water. It's still water like a mirror. It reflects exactly what is there without any type of distortion. This state of mind allows you to really see an attack and at the same time respond to it immediately and accurately. If any disturbing thought is allowed to enter that mind, it will be like throwing a stone into the water. The opponent's movements will not be clear and therefore the response will not be quick enough. If the mind is filled with thoughts of attack and defense, it will not correctly understand what the opponent is trying to do. Such unnecessary thought could really bring harm to both you and your opponent. So there's even a deeper meaning to mind like water. When the mind is still like water, like I said, it reflects what it is without judging it. So judgment is that natural tendency that we all have. 
You know, if the mind is still silent and deep, it sees exactly what is before it without really looking about what it should or should not be, without being concerned whether something is right or wrong or good or bad. Judging what you see is like stirring a stick in the water. It only makes the water muddy. So a mind that can understand and intelligently respond to the deeper causes of this violence, whatever it may be, needs to be clear. So once you achieve this clarity of a still mind, you are then capable of something very special called insight, which is the ability to see, understand, and act immediately to handle a problem. So in the physical aspect of karate, this is the ability to act instantly to protect yourself when you are about to be physically attacked. But as we know, there are other things in the workplace that it doesn't always mean physical attacks, gratefully, but there are other things that we can feel like we are being under attack. So with one of Bruce Lee, I had to, of course, find a Bruce Lee quote, right? If we're talking about um, the martial arts, he says, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. So in part two of Mind Like Moon, Mind Like Water, I'm going to share with you eight strategies on how to empty that mind so that you can keep aware and respond calmly and appropriately to what comes your way. Stay tuned. For more Metaphorically Speaking and Leading with Molly Neese. Nice.